Hi guys, I'm Jess and this is my Golden Retriever Hudson. We've been living out of the back of my 2017 Hyundai Tucson, camping, traveling, cooking, and exploring all over the US. If you love the outdoors and wanna see our adventures roaming the country and discovering some really cool places, please like, subscribe, turn your notifications on, and continue watching. Ugh, I'm just climbing out. has been raining but it seems to like have a break right now so I'm gonna get up and feed Hudson breakfast before it starts raining again hold on I haven't got the food out yet I can feel raindrops already can you eat fast can you eat fast you'll do your best there you go. Enjoy your breakfast, buddy. I don't know if you guys can hear it or like see any of it, but the rain is really starting to pick back up. Hudson luckily is done with his breakfast. Hi. <laughs> and now we're back in the car. Uh-huh. It's going to be a car day, I think. Hudson's situated back up front. Just listen to the rain. Me and Bubba are up and going for a walk. It's definitely gonna rain more, but it's not raining right now, so we're going for it. Look at this dark and gloomy day. I am cold in shorts, um, but I'm gonna climb back in the car after this walk, so I'm not changing. Cause I, I like wearing shorts when I sleep or nap or I'm under covers. <laughs> I just looked at the weather forecast to see like, you know, when it's supposed to start raining and whatnot. Um, so right now, nothing, no rain. At, it's 7.30. At eight, um, it's it, there's a 50% chance. Then it seems like we're good for a couple hours, but by noon, it's like 90% for the rest of the day. So I think I might have to throw pants on when we're back at camp, because I think if it's gonna be kind of nice till noon, we gotta stay out and enjoy it while we can. For some reason, I just really dig this view. Like, being up in the trees up here, looking down on the road from the forest. I don't know. I don't know what it is about it, but I just like it. It's just cool. I just realized um, that if I'm gonna work out today, which I have to, uh, I should do it this morning, which is not a joyful thought to me, but <laughs> I should because I'm, I'm not going to get out and work out when it's raining. So I got to take the chance when it's not to like get my squats, push-ups, and sit-ups done. So after this walk, when we get back to camp, that's what I'm going to do. You guys hear all the birds out and talking this morning? That's what you get when you walk through the woods. It's pretty nice. And look at you, we didn't even put your collar on. So my dog, my guy Hudson back there, was one of nine puppies. There was five boys and four girls. And I was just thinking, um, I wonder what they're all up to. Where did those puppies end up? What homes are they in? I doubt that they're living the same life as him, but maybe. Um, what do they look like? What are they doing? I would like to know. What are your puppy siblings up to? Huh? You guys are all two years old now. How different would it have been if I picked one of your other, your other brothers? It wouldn't have been as good as you. I know. You're just perfect. You are so good. You are. You're like the perfect dog. Yeah, that is your stick. Bring it along. Huh? Oh, you're not going to bring it. Goodbye, stick. 
taking the secret entrance back into camp today. Yeah. Secret path. Secret path. It's not that secret, but it's not the way we usually come in. <laughs> Look at you. All handsome and stuff. Why aren't you the handsomest boy I know? Hi. The secret path led us back to camp. We made it. Got my little setup here. About to work out. Huts is ready to help. Let's get it done. That was half my workout for you. Hudson is playing with his toy over there and I'm gonna finish working out. Just finished my workout. Oh, I'm happy to be done, but look at it outside. It's gonna start raining at some point here. Time to get an energy drink. Reward myself for being done working out and waking up. Uh, oh, hello. Yeah, you need a peanut butter snack? I think you only got a couple left in this bag. Let's see. You act like you didn't just get snacks. All right, there's like three left. There you go. This is the real world. Real reward. Wow, I feel like I still don't say that. This is the real reward. I'm gonna have a morning piece of pizza. Pizza and an energy drink. And Hut's got a little pepperoni. I ate way too much pizza. So now, now we're going to walk some of it off. It's also like super foggy out here. Look at this. It's just fog city. <sighs> it's my boy. Where's my boy? Where's my boy? Where is he? Oh, I love this guy. Why are you so handsome? Who made you who made you this perfect? Watch into cars. Ooh, the fog looks thicker up here. Should we keep going, Hutz? It's looking a little sketchy up here. He's fine with it, so I guess we're gonna continue. We're out here exploring a little bit. We're climbing up this ATV trail. Yeah, it seems fun. And I don't see any ATVs out. You're getting some freaking epic views out here. Oh, you're my number one explorer. You might be the most traveled dog ever. Yeah, you're not. We see some other dogs out there getting after it, but for a two-year-old, you've had a lot of adventure in your life, haven't you, buddy? What's my guy doing? <laughs> this trail is awesome. Uh, I really think it would be fun to have another dog out here. Two dogs. I always thought by the time he turns three that I would have another one. Uh, it's March right now. He'll turn three in November. So I guess technically I could have two dogs by then. Uh, but I think he misses having another dog around. He grew up with my sister's and parents' dogs. So he was in a pack of five. My parents have two dogs and my sister has two dogs. So I think he does miss his pack sometimes and it makes me sad. Um, 
and I just think it would be nice to have another dog. Like, he, he is a social boy. He's a social boy. He's much more friendly than me. He, he wants to see everybody, people and dogs included. Um, but if I had more space than just my little SUV, I think I probably already would have gotten another dog. I don't know if I would have got a puppy, probably gone for like a, a two or three year old um, <laughs> that's already trained because puppies are a lot of work and I don't think I would want to be living out of my car training a puppy. But I don't know. It would be nice for him to have a friend. That's all I'm saying. He'll get one eventually, I think. Who knows, maybe he'll be my only dog forever. Probably not though. Hi, do you want a brother? I'll tell you something. Um, I am always thinking of dog names. And if I get another dog, if I were to get it from like a puppy and was like completely choosing, I would probably get either another golden or a uh, Bernese mountain dog. Cause I think they are awesome. And I already have his name picked out, my future dog's name. Like if, if I were to get a puppy, obviously if I adopt like a two, three, four, five, however old dog, like they're, they're already going to be named. Um, but if I adopt a puppy, I do have a boy's name picked out. I don't know if I want to share it with you guys. Cause I don't, I don't want people to steal it. All right. I'll tell you. I'm thinking like a red golden retriever or Bernie's mountain dog. So picture those dogs in your head and picture a cute little puppy. I would name him Murtaugh. So it'd be Hudson and Murtaugh. And I just think that's so cute. Don't you guys think that's like, I just think it flows good. Murtaugh. And you don't really hear a lot of people calling their dogs Murtaugh. At least I don't. So I think it's pretty unique and I really like it. Huh? Someday you might have a brother named Murtaugh. Okay? Apparently we have gotten back to the road. That was fun. It's starting to get rained on. And now we're heading away from camp. I don't know if we're making the right choice. <laughs> Ugh. It's only 10 in the morning. I don't want to be stuck in the car all day. <laughs> I just got a little SUV. We don't got that much space. So... He doesn't want to be stuck in the car all day either. Oh, it's not pouring yet, so we could dry off still at this point. We're not soaked. We're not soaked to the bone. We'll walk maybe 20 more minutes just to like get him some activity. I'm not really worried about me being stuck in the car. I'm more worried about him being stuck in the car. You're an active boy. <laughs> you just like being outside. I don't want to get you too wet either though, because then we'll be stuck in the car with a, a wet dog, and that would not smell too good. So if it starts pouring, we're running back to camp huts in Crocs. It's got to document these clouds moving through over here. Hudson is all the way up there. Out here getting rained on. Can you see Hudson? He's coming back. He wants to make sure that I'm not abandoning, abandoning him. This is why I let him be off leash, because he does check in. And this is not a busy area. It doesn't say your dog has to be on leash here, so he's being free. That is so awesome. You waiting for me, bud? I'm coming. Thank you for waiting. That is such a good boy. Thank you for waiting, my goodness. What a handsome guy. Hi, thanks for waiting for me. <laughs> You're walking right behind me now. <laughs> You're like, I'm not losing you. Don't worry, I'm not gonna lose you either. No, no. So we're definitely hanging out and camping here today. Like, it's our fourth night here, I think. 
but I'm thinking if it's going to be raining all day, I might go drive into town, um, which is about 20 minutes away, and stop at McDonald's and use their Wi-Fi to download some videos and stuff so that I could do some editing. Like if I'm going to be stuck in my car, I could help, I could help out. John has been doing the majority. I do mean the majority of the editing since I've been traveling on my own. The majority, I mean all of it. <laughs> I've made uh, a couple videos that actually aren't out yet at this point. Uh, just one shot like reviews of essential items for your dog and for car camping. But if I could go download some stuff onto my computer, I could do some editing today. And I actually kind of miss editing, so it could be fun. I think that's what I'm going to do. It's raining. We're going to hop in the car. We're going to be stuck in the car anyways. Might as well go drive into town and get some stuff done. Here we are, climbed in. Got the directory back there. It's charging. Uh, and we're going to take the 20 minute drive to McDonald's and try and get some work done. Butts is just going to nap in the front seat. Should be good. You can see where my car was parked, but we're getting out of here to McDonald's now. Hopefully. I'm gonna be honest, not even 100% sure if this McDonald's has Wi-Fi. Um, so this might just be a, like a waste of a trip. I hope not though. I hope it has Wi-Fi, and I hope the Wi-Fi speed is pretty good so that I can get some stuff out of it. I'm gonna check on my phone and see if they've got Wi-Fi. Trying to download some stuff, but uh, it's not going that well. That's how you get work done. Snoozing in the front seat. Downloading stuff. Tell me why. I'm sitting here minding my own business. And then on this guy's ear, right over here, you see something black. And so I'm like, what the fuck is that? A tick. It's a tick. So I grab my tweezers, which are always in my door over here. Grab it off. I threw that freaking guy outside. And then one second later, there's another one on his ear. So I grabbed that one and then we got out of the car and we just did a full body tick check. But he's got such thick fur. It's not easy to check through all of that. So I think that there is no more on him, but I'm just paying attention. I got my tweezers at the ready now. Oh, this freaking dog attracts ticks like no other. I literally feel like I pick them off him every single day. Every day, we're tick pulling. Another note in our tick pulling adventure, um, when we were outside and I was checking through his fur I was having to sit behind my car and I was combing through him, looking for ticks. And this sweet little old lady was like, is he okay? Um, she was just checking sure and making that we were both good. Um, and she said that he was so handsome and that Hudson is such a regal name. Do you think he's regal? <laughs> another, another side note. Um, so we have plenty of experience freaking checking for ticks and pulling ticks off of him at this point. And something I've noticed, I don't know if any of you else, any other, bleh, if any of you out there have dogs who like you have to do this with because you hike in the woods and are around freaking ticks all the time, but they especially seem to love his head. Like they're usually all over his head, his neck, like that's their favorite areas. I definitely pull them off his body too, but much more often off his head. And I don't know if it's because he has like long fur, so it's easier to actually get to his scalp than it is to get to his body through all of that fur. But if you're checking your dogs, don't skimp out on checking their heads. We're still downloading stuff um, and editing. Oh, 
trying to download stuff so that we can edit. But we're gonna get a milkshake and some fries. We've been here for like over an hour. He's pumped, he's ready. He's been wanting french fries since we pulled in. Shake and a large fry. Yep. 46. Have a great day. Thanks, you too. McDonald's french fries are so expensive. Over four bucks for a large fry seems crazy to me. In my head, it should be like a dollar, two dollars. <laughs> the intensity in his face. He knows what we're getting. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> mm, I went in before. Oh. We're waiting on our shake. Bahats is eating fries. He's a fry man. When we just move, the download failed. I'm not gonna restart downloading all that stuff, so I just put my computer away. We have at least the first couple days downloaded, um, but the third day, only part of them finished downloading. So, we can get started, but we don't have that much to work with. Hutz is gonna come look for propane with me. Hudson. Hey. Tractor Supply did not have propane, so we're gonna see if Ace Hardware does. Don't know what the chances are, but we'll check it out. Ace Hardware also does not have one pound propane tanks like they, they normally do, but they're just out of them. Oh well. I don't know if there's anywhere else I can look in this little town kind of dark and rainy out now. We just stopped at this Sinclair gas station. Um, and actually, I was able to find a couple bottles of propane. So I picked up two bottles and I also grabbed some White Claw. Now we're heading back to camp. It is 1.30 right now. back to camp and it is picking up on the rain which is not great <laughs> but we'll deal with it it is supposed to like start snowing the temperature is going to continue to drop into the night and then this rain is going to turn into snow but if we're not stuck tomorrow i want to drive back into yosemite and grab a shower at one of the places of, uh, either the curry lodge or uh, the housekeeping camp where you can pay to get a shower. There's a truck camping in the spot that we were camping in. So we're gonna just drive in a little further and see if we can't find something else. Actually, you know what? I know that there's a spot right back at the beginning, so I'm just gonna turn around. I don't really wanna get deeper in here. This is the spot that I was talking about. That is at the beginning that I saw. Not quite as ideal of a spot, but it doesn't look bad. I opened up the trunk so that he could have a spot to eat kind of out of the rain. Now I'm just going to rearrange the inside of here so that we can climb in and hang out. All the window screens up, Hutz is done with dinner is blacked out um, and the back is cleaned enough to climb in got the blankets here my laptop is up there uh, yeah not too bad now we're just gonna go on a short walk come on let's go for a short walk <laughs> the spot we camped at the past couple days is right there oh sad I'm getting absolutely freaking soaked out here. I'm gonna have to dry the crap out of Hudson and his paws are about to be so muddy. It's not gonna be good. It is really not gonna be great climbing in the car like this. 
Oh my gosh. Hot. He doesn't, he does not care. He's having a great time. I'm just walking through the mud in my Crocs. Hey buddy, are you having fun? <laughs> now I'm slipping in my Crocs. <laughs> Sketchy. Hudson. Hudson, no. Oh, look at how dirty he is. All right, we are not going further. Don't even think about it. Oh. I just fell in the mud. <laughs> oh my God. Brick, okay. Hudson, come on. I fell again and my phone is absolutely covered in mud. Um, this is not great. Uh, <laughs> looks like I shit my pants. Oh my God. Don't wear Crocs out here. It is wet, muddy, and slippery. I'm first gonna clean my hands off. Then I'm gonna clean my phone off. Then I'm going to wipe this off. And then I'm gonna throw this jacket and these shorts in a bag and change into different clothes. Oh my God, this walk was a mistake. I am disgusting. I'm wet and muddy. <laughs> Hudson and I are climbed in. We're freaking wet, tired, and dirty. I still have mud all over my legs. Oh, gross. It is a bit gross in here. Yeah, I just let him out to get some water and go potty, and then we're climbing back in. We're not hanging out in the rain. I'm not getting muddy again. All right, so Hut's peed and got some water. Now we're back in the car, and it's like five o'clock now. Unless he really has to go to the bathroom again, we're not climbing out again tonight. You guys hear it? It's starting to snow outside. That's not good. It is so loud in here, guys. <laughs> 